Food is like medicine because it gives our body important things called nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. These things help keep us healthy and prevent sickness. In this video, we will talk about how too much salt and fluid can affect our hearts, especially for people with heart failure. Our hearts needs a little bit of something called sodium, which is in salt, to work properly. But if you have too much, our bodies keep extra water, and that's not good for our hearts. It can make our hearts work too hard and cause problems like swelling in our legs or trouble breathing. To stay healthy, people with heart issues should eat less than 2,000 milligrams of sodium each day. For most adults, the goal is to stay below 2,300 milligrams, which is like a teaspoon of salt. The tricky part is that we often eat more salt than we realize, especially in packaged foods and at restaurants. So it's important to check food labels and choose fresh, whole foods to keep our hearts happy and healthy. By being careful with how much salt we eat, we can help our hearts stay strong and feel better. Just because someone doesn't add salt while cooking or eating doesn't mean they have a low salt diet. Only 11% of the salt we eat comes from using the salt shaker. Surprisingly, more than 75% of our salt intake comes from packaged foods and meals we get from restaurants. An average restaurant meal can have as much salt as what's recommended for an entire day. So, even if we're not adding salt ourselves, it's important to be aware of the hidden salt in the foods we buy or order when we eat out. We should pay particular attention to the top six sources of sodium. Baked goods such as muffins, cookies, breads, and crackers. Appetizers and ready-to-eat meals such as pizza, dips, and lasagna. Processed meats such as burgers, sausages, deli meats, chicken wings, and canned meat. Cheeses, canned soups, and sauces and condiments such as soy sauce, barbecue sauce, and ketchup. So how can you make sure your salt intake supports a healthy heart? Number one, read labels. Remember salt is sneaky. It's often in foods you would not expect or in much higher quantity. That is the only way to make sure the food item you're considering buying is low or high in salt. Number two, eat more often at home. And number three, eat more fresh foods and limit packaged and processed foods. Drinking the right amount of fluid can help avoid heart failure symptoms. Fluid is more than water. It also includes any food or drink that is a liquid at room temperature including milk, juice, pop, hot drinks, alcohol, soups, jello, ice cream, popsicle, ice, and meal replacement drinks. Aim for your fluid intake to be between one and a half to two liters per day, which is the equivalent to six to eight cups or 48 to 64 ounces. Remember that your body needs fluid to be healthy. It's all about finding the right balance between too little and too much that the heart works harder. For lots of people, keeping track of how much they drink isn't something that comes naturally. It often needs a plan. So for more information on salt and fluid intake, contact your local dietitian or heart function clinic.